So I'm sure you guys are aware by now, uh, David Pakman of the David Pakman Show decided to change his show for the day, and instead of covering the stories, he decided to do an interview with Dave Rubin of the Rubin Report, who has effectively become uh, somebody who ha who just gives right wingers, conservatives, and libertarians a uh, monologue room, and he doesn't challenge them on any of their any of what they're spouting. Um, but the point, uh, sorry, before that, I want to say that I have made three videos breaking down the interview already. I'm getting a bit tired of it, so this is going to be the last one, unfortunately. But um, four should be plenty. But you know, we talked about how. Pac-Man broke him down on uh, him claiming to be a classical liberal whilst claiming to support single pair. Now, which one of those are genuine? Uh, we currently don't know, but we're going to be jumping into that. So, uh, this is going to be about David Pac-Man um, basically explaining the moronic Dave Rubin of what he actually supports. He didn't even, he doesn't even realize what he's saying. That holy shit, what I support is not single pair, it's Obamacare. So check out this clip. I would say that to me, the best idea for healthcare, as I see it, would be that basically you would have the the private companies would be in control because they have to decide what they have to make money, they have to have a functioning business. I do believe that's a realistic thing. At the same time, there is a piece of do you want people to be able to get health insurance that have pre-existing conditions absolutely do you want to do things that aren't always about the bottom line now this is where a libertarian might say okay well it's tough for that person and they have to go to their local church or their whatever their community and, and help them now i believe the state does have some responsibility there i think this is a classical liberal position hmm. um so uh so i would say the best the most realistic way that i think you could do this basically would be that you would have private companies that would sort of all be facilitated and exchanged with some facilitating by the government. It's isn't not, that Obamacare? Isn't like, isn't that Obamacare basically said, we're still keeping health insurance as a for-profit endeavor, but in order to participate, you have to abide by certain restrictions and we will also sort of regulate some portion of these plans through an exchange. Like I'm hearing exactly what the Affordable Care Act is. Yeah, well, first off, you can go back to my tweets and many videos that I did. I was not against Obamacare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, and I don't yeah, mean that as a criticism. It's just sounding like what, like the Affordable yeah. Care Act. What you guys just saw is Dave Rubin, he, he was describing everything that was Obamacare. So when he, he what he likes to do is he likes to inflate his claims to act as if he's he's a progressive or not a progressive sorry he doesn't claim to be a progressive because that would mean that would clearly make it out that he's not a classical liberal what he claims to be is a liberal he claims to be a liberal but he what he doesn't even realize is he's not describing single payer because those he said that the insurance companies should. And just be ushered. They shouldn't be. Um, it shouldn't be fully funded by the public. So he doesn't even know what he himself is supporting. And I think that this is a good summary of what Dave Rubin is. It's like a confused little child who throws so many labels that he doesn't even know what he supports. He doesn't know what his ideology supports. And to be honest, he really doesn't even know what his ideology is. So Dave Rubin is a flat out joke and uh, we have some more videos on Dave Rubin uh, coming out soon. What's up guys, it's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail and we need your help.